and nearly 2 million extra households will be needed for those looking for rent by 2025. That's according to the body that represents housing surveyors. And Steph has been taking a look at why. Good morning to you, Steph. Yeah, morning to you both. Uh, housing is a controversial issue. A lot of people saying there isn't enough supply out there for the demand and, and that can make it tough for people like renters. Uh, morning, everyone. Yes, the UK's rental sector is worth nearly a trillion pounds. And according to the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, a lot of the rental properties are owned by private landlords who just have one or two houses. But government measures have had a big impact on this. For example, from April April this year, uh, a stamp duty surcharge was introduced on second home purchases in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. And that's one reason why estate agents are this morning reporting a 60% fall in buy-to-let sales since May, with many private landlords choosing not to buy more properties and extend their portfolios. Well, with me now is Kate Faulkner, who is a property expert. Morning to you, Kate. Morning. So, so what's going on here? Is this all about that stamp duty surcharge, do you think? Well, there's a little bit more going on than that, because from a landlord's perspective, you're going to feel a little bit sore when you wake up in the morning, because over the last few years, you've been bombarded with being told you're a greedy landlord and you're taking renters money whereas in actual fact they're delivering a service just like anybody else but what has happened is they have got increased taxes coming through of which stamp duty has been the first but actually possibly a much more damaging one is that at the moment you can deduct the mortgage interest that you pay off your rent. Now, if you're a higher rate taxpayer, you're going to be, your relief is going to be halved over a five year period. But worse still, you won't be able to deduct the mortgage interest from your rental income, which means that the profit that you make is going to be effectively artificially higher. So your taxes are going up and that will push some landlords into cash flow negative territory, which is not good for tenants, not good for landlords, it's not good for the market. On top of that, there are now estimated 145 to 160 rules and regulations you have to abide by to let a home. Now, all the good guys are more than happy to abide by every single one of those, but they do increase your cost dramatically. Mm. And so you're getting a real double whammy as a landlord at the moment, and not necessarily the capital growth coming through that we've seen in, in the past as well. So th there's a lot going on, and it's not a surprise that landlords are going, well, hang on a minute, I'm getting beaten up from every, everybody at the moment, and I just need to take stock as to whether I move forward. So it's a lot more costly and bureaucratic for them. Very um, much the so. government argue, however, that actually, you know, it's fine for people to get additional homes and it's fine for, you know, the buy to let market to be there. But it's also about trying to help people who can't afford to buy a home get a home and, and landlords can make it more expensive by buying properties and the price is going up. In, now, that's a real theory side of things, I think, because when you look at the numbers that actually prove that, a lot of the time it's not the case. And there is a real um, misunderstanding that landlords aren't providing homes. So a lot of the landlords I know and a lot of experienced landlords now are converting um, commercial offices into residential. They're taking homes that are too expensive for people to buy and moving them into flats or into what I'd call real boutique hotel-like um, rooms to rent for the professional sector, and actually creating a brand new place for people to live, which is lovely and cost-effective. So there seems to be a lack of recognition for the fact that landlords, even your small landlord, can really help. We've got two million landlords. If we got 10% of them to build a new home, that yeah. would be 10 times what anybody else could be providing. And I think we've really got to look at landlords as a solution, not as part of the problem. Yeah. Kate, thank you very much. Very interesting. Uh, that's it for me for now. Steph, see you in a bit. Thank you very much.